kids we have already learned about the terms hcf and lcm today let us understand the relation between hcf lcm and the given numbers let us take the numbers 20 and 36 first we shall find the hcf of the given numbers by prime factorization method thus the prime factorization of 20 is 2 into 2 into 5 and the prime factorization of 36 is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 thus the hcf of 20 and 36 is equal to 2 into 2 which is equal to 4 next let us find the lcm of the given numbers by common division method thus we get the lcm of 20 and 36 as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 which is equal to 180 now to understand the relation between hcf and lcm we need to find the product of the given numbers and the product of the hcf and lcm obtained so the product of the given numbers is equal to 20 into 36 which is equal to 720 and the product of the hcf and the lcm is equal to 4 into 180 which is equal to 720 thus we can conclude that the product of hcf and lcm is equal to the product of the given numbers relation between hcf and lcm product of the numbers is equal to hcf into lcm thus we can say that first number is equal to hcf into lcm divided by second number hcf is equal to product of numbers divided by lcm second number is equal to hcf into lcm divided by first number lcm is equal to product of numbers divided by hcf now let us solve an example the hcf of two numbers is 15 and their lcm is 75 if one of the numbers is 25 find the other number we know that product of the numbers is equal to hcf into lcm therefore first number multiplied by second number is equal to hcf into lcm now on substituting the values we get 25 multiplied by second number is equal to 15 into 75 therefore second number is equal to 15 into 75 divided by 25 therefore second number is equal to 45 thus we say the other number is 45